The following is a Coderland presentation about our newest attraction, the Reactica Roller Coaster. <laughs> Greetings, Coders. This is Doug Tipple. As we see the majestic Coderland special rolling into the station with a load of happy coders, bituminous coal, and Darrell, the best rhino there ever was, it's time for another exciting announcement from Coderland. The park's extensive lineup of attractions now includes Reactica, a state-of-the-art roller coaster that takes guests through a terrifying journey on perhaps the most futuristic coaster ever built. Let's take a look at this 21st century marvel in action. Clearly, our engineers have outdone themselves in building this next generation ride. As our early guests stared in slack-jawed wonder at this spectacle, many of them asked about the wait time for such a unique attraction. Your assignment, should you choose to accept it, is to build a web interface that shows the continuously updated wait time for the ride. You'll use event data from the ride itself, including whenever the coaster leaves the station, when it returns, when the ride is shut down due to accidents, and of course, whenever the wreckage is cleared and the ride reopens. In addition to ride events, you'll also process events from park guests. Every time the coaster leaves the station, the status of a few lucky guests changes from waiting in line to on the ride. A short time later, their status changes to completed the ride. Your web UI needs to reflect all of those changes. You may have already recognized this as a perfect scenario for reactive programming. That's the focus of what we'll cover here. The code uses the Eclipse Vertex Toolkit to handle the events that move through the system. Those events are delivered via the Red Hat AMQ message broker and Red Hat data grid. The code uses the event infrastructure to generate this web UI. It shows the current wait time as well as a list of the guests in line. This UI is displayed on monitors in the station as guests move through the queue, giving them constant feedback as to how the line is moving, uh, if the line is moving. For administrators, there is a second UI to manage the ride. We'll take a quick look at that as well. There are three more videos to help you build this solution. The first serves as a quick introduction to reactive programming and Vertex. Then the second covers the different components and how they work together. The third shows you the ride in action so you can see how events are generated by the ride and its riders and how those events are consumed by the components that calculate the wait time. We think this is a great introduction to reactive programming and reactive systems. We had a lot of fun putting it together and we hope you enjoy it. For Coderland, this is Doug Tidwell saying may all your bugs be shallow. Cheers.